Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Willis with the LSU Ag Center, and I'm going to talk to you today about staking your tomatoes. Now, this is spring. This is a garden where the master gardeners are growing tomatoes in the botanic gardens. And so we're going to use these as a demonstration. Now, if you've ever grown tomatoes, you might see something like this sold in the garden centers as tomato cages. Well, I'm going to tell you right to begin with, unless you're growing a determinate variety of tomato, these won't work very well for you. Determinate tomatoes grow to a certain height and then stop growing. Indeterminate, which are the more common ones, grow and grow and grow and grow, and they can get really, really long and really, really tall. So as you can see, if we push this into the ground, it's only a little over three feet tall. Now this will work great for your eggplants, which is what we have growing right here, but for your indeterminate tomatoes, it's not gonna work very well. So I'm gonna show you a quick method that works really well. You can do it with a whole row of tomatoes, or you can do it with only one, two, or three tomatoes. And it's called the Florida Weave. And the reason it's called that is because um, they were first using it in Florida where they grew a lot of tomatoes, and you'll see what, what the weave part means as I go through this. Now here we have a tomato that's starting to get pretty tall. So with the Florida weave, you wanna put stakes. Uh, you can actually put one about every third tomato. We got a lot of stakes in here, but we don't really need that many. And as you can see, these stakes are really tall. So these tomatoes will eventually get this tall, and that's what the indeterminate part of it is. But to do the Florida weave, you first tie off the string and you can use nylon string or you can use jute. I like to use nylon because it doesn't break down, doesn't rot, and I can reuse it every year. Now here's the weave part. You go on one side of the first tomato, and this one really tall, you go on the other side of the next tomato, and then you go back on the back side of this tomato. And then when you get to a stake, and if, say this is your end of your row, you'll wrap it around to secure it, and then when you go back, you actually go on the opposite side of the plant that you just went. So, as you can see, we're creating a little harness right here that holds the plant up. And so when we get over to this one here, we'll go on the other side of it. And then we'll wrap it around and you would tie it off. And as the tomatoes get taller, you keep doing this a little further up, a little further up. So you can see we're going and weaving through the tomatoes. We'll go on one side, the other side, turn around, come back on the opposite side and make a little cradle or a harness to hold the tomato plant. Now as the plant gets taller, it's gonna stay where we want it. It's gonna get nice and tall and you'll be able to pick fruit all the way up to here. And so, if you're going to grow indeterminate tomatoes, I suggest using the Florida weave for staking them. You'll have a lot more fruit and a lot cleaner fruit.